Welcome to Replay, everyone. I am Andrew Reiner. Got Joe Juba here. That's me. Kyle Hilliard. Hi. And Leo Vader. Wow. Hi. Hi. We, wow. uh, we're going to play uh, Bioshock, a little known game on 360. A real hidden gem, this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Joe, do you remember what we gave this, score-wise? Uh, it was like a 6, 6.5. Huh. Was it an upside uh, down 6? No, no, this was a perfect 10. What oh, this was a 10? Oh, the original was a yeah. 10? Yep, yeah, absolutely it was. This was back in the day where we had uh, second opinions on games also. Actually, I'm not going to play this. I'm going to have you play oh, God. freaking Bioshock. Yeah, put your right. coffee down. Uh, That's a while. We're, we're going to go easy. Yeah, then. so we... Yeah. Uh, so we're going to make progress. Wait, you went to easy? Yeah, it started... Talking and playing is rough. Yeah, for the sake. Well, this way we just we won't die at all. Talking and playing is rough. It is. Oh, talking and playing. What did you think? Hawking, like selling things. <laughs> cocking. Like, oh, cocking, like <laughs> loading a gun. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's why no one does it. It's really hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Game yeah. Maybe in the movies they do, but they told me. Speaking of guns, son. You're special. Oh, yeah, your guy talks in the beginning. You mm -hmm. were going to do great things. Yeah, that's one of the funny things about this when everyone talks you know about it. There's a perception they of it right. that, like, it's a totally silent protagonist. Yeah. It's like, no, it's, it's a character. His name's Jack. But that's the only time he talks, though, I think, right? Even at the end, I don't think he's... Does he narrate the end, or is it... I don't you guys remember. remember? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. I think it was the girls that narrate. It's been a while since I've played this, actually. I played... Replayed Bioshock 1 and 2 before heading off to do the cover story on Bioshock Infinite. Mm. But that's the that's the last time. So that must have been back in like what, 2009, 2010 I think. Yeah, so and then did that the, story? the remaster came out on Xbox One and PS4 and we did do Game Club for this. So if mm. if if you don't get enough Bioshock from us, go find that Game Club and you get a whole lot more. Or don't. I, or don't. I still can't believe we haven't uh, we haven't done an episode on this already. This seems like such yeah. a Yeah. Well, like, that's a weird thing. It's like how far do, back do we go with replays? Yeah. How many yeah, tens so. has Game Informer given? You know this, Joe. Fourteen or seventeen? How many tens? Oh, I don't know the actual number, um, but it's it's not a lot. Yeah. I mean, usually we have maybe maybe one a year. Oh, great. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're playing on my account, and I have it automatically set to that. You're in Kyle's world That's now. That's right. I missed that about the new Xbox, is you can't just say, you can't go into your console settings and tell it to invert all your controls like a proper So you're walking on game. Mercury? So, yeah. Are you supposed to be swimming? There was a plane crash. Does it, no, it doesn't let me swim. Sorry, that's boring. <laughs> so, there we go. Wow. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Leo. <laughs> Leo, have you seen this game? It's pretty cool. I was just being born around when this game came out. <laughs> oh. So let's, Joe, let's go back to that day. There's always a lighthouse. Of that Leo's day. conception. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Where what you happened? and I. How does that work? Are in my house. Oh, yeah. In my game room with the door closed. The, this, this is getting a little romantic. About, what, a month and a half before Bioshock came out? Yeah, this was back. Um, this was back before even that. This would have been like what 2007, probably. So this was before we even relaunched GameInformer.com. So we were really, oh, wow. we were really focused more on the print side of things back then. That's propaganda. Uh, oh, oh, I'm glad they. And <laughs> statue wall. <laughs> uh, we weren't alone in my house though. No, my that's wife true. was off. Girlfriend at the time. Wife was off at uh, at work. But there were two people from 2K Games in my living room, which was next <laughs> to my game room, uh, just sitting there doing work. Yep. But they were there Going because they couldn't leave the game alone in our hands. And this was fairly common back in the day with long lead print where maybe someone from Nintendo would be in our office as we reviewed Ocarina of Time uh, following... Uh, a build of Star Fox being sent to China and manufactured illegally over there or whatever. Yeah. They yeah. really uh, locked down. Yeah. Then they changed to lock boxes where they had the systems locked to on desks. our desks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was there for a little bit of that. Yeah. yeah but so were... this this was strange. 
But yeah, this was, I mean, this was an era where, I mean, because we were a print magazine and our deadlines are so, were like so far out, companies were really concerned about get, about their games like getting out there so far in advance. So, yeah. But they were professionals, did not ask us anything about what we thought about the game during it. They didn't just scoff at the way you were playing. <laughs> well, they didn't even watch. That's the thing. They were hanging out in Reiner's living room. Yeah, as I had we the were, door, theater door shut or game room door shut. Make sure to get the B one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we only went out to say hi when it was like lunchtime, or if we had to fart or something, and then yeah. <laughs> it was back to playing. And we we played. Oh, from I like, did that in the theater. Oh man, <laughs> we played from like 10 a.m. till. Oh, oh, right that, where's the whale? 10 a.m. till like Best midnight. Part of the game. Yeah. I feel uh, like, for like two days, right? I feel like yeah. I feel like we had a couple days of it. I. Mi that time frame seems a little long because this game isn't that long. Like, well, I guess yeah. I played like, it. This twice, isn't a t probably. this isn't a twenty four hour game. Yeah. Right. But we, well, that would be yeah. We we passed the sticks as we reviewed it because we did a main review and a, a second opinion. Mm -hmm. So like every death or something. Uh, but it was fun. Like we uh, and during that too, we were very protective of our own opinions. Yeah. Where yeah. we wouldn't communicate about what we were thinking about the game. <laughs> It was it was a strange time. It, I mean, for decades we did this. Like, yeah. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to let you know what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's a it's a really tricky thing when you're doing like a second opinion. Back in the day when we did those, where it was like to try and yeah to try and not taint the other reviewer's opinion of it. So it's like you're playing this game and there's only one other person in the office who's playing it and you want to talk about it, but you also can't really talk about it. That was yeah. That was that was weird. There would be times, though, where you'd have, like, a Brian Vohr just screaming at a boss. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, I don't think he likes that. Yeah. Yeah. Brian <laughs> Brian was especially colorful in his language when he did not like something. Uh, you, could, you could usually tell. But. but this, man, this game, though, like, from beginning to end, one of the best in gaming history. Yeah. Yeah. Those, those experiences, uh, I, I, really, I really have fond memories of playing some of those, like, like God of War was another one of those for me, where I remember, I think it was, was that you and it was you, me, and then at oh, your desk. I'm trying to remember who was. Okay, yeah, it was you and I reviewing it, and Andy was just sort of hanging out because that yeah. game looked so amazing. About at the two time. hours in, Andy just kind of walked over to Joe's desk to see how things were going, because uh, he was excited about the game, and then the next thing we know is he pulled up a chair. And then he was there the entire night with us. Yeah, yeah. and that's, uh, Just watching. Yeah, and that was definitely one of those start playing at 10 a.m., get done at around midnight. Yeah. yeah. So, like, we just did that the whole day. Um, but, yeah, there's something. There's, I have fond memories of some of those. Like, when it's just a great game that you don't want to put down, mm. uh, reviewing those, are all, that's always fun. Like, when you're playing something, you're like, oh, this... This is something special. Like this is going to change things. Yep. Yeah, like, yeah. And that's why Andy sat down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You'll understand someday, Kyle. You've never really. Oh, actually I did played. in March. Thank you very much. Nah, I said, but like someday you'll review a game that actually deserves the high score you give okay. it. Okay. All right. Are we still <laughs> trying to give Brian Shea games that we don't think will get over a six? <laughs> is that? <laughs> oh, we're, we're going public with that now. Is that, what is, we're that doing? is that still in the books? I feel bad for uh, that quick, guy. Quick aside on that topic, I do. When you give him Bubsy Joe, I, you had to go to his <laughs> desk and be like, "Look, I'm, this isn't me trying to give you a crappy assignment. This is you're the one who I checked. You're the one who has the most availability." Yeah. No, we don't actually think that way. It's no, just Brian so. had, had one, a couple a of string in a row, of yeah. bad, 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 bad games. <laughs> yeah. I, also, I just don't like Brian, so... No, he's yeah. lovely. No. Yeah, it's a coincidence, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bioshock, right? Yeah, yeah, we should actually start talking about what's happening here, okay. because, like, this this lead-up... I mean, we did talk through some of the best parts there, but, like, the first time you see this city, it, to me, is just one of the... It's one of the standout moments of in gaming. Absolutely. Yeah, we're in an aquarium. <laughs> It's funny. Uh, we, I remember that we talked about this uh, when we were doing our like we did a horror issue a couple of years ago, and we talked and we had a big debate over whether Bioshock is ah! a, a horror game. Mm -hmm. And I really do feel like this opening hour or so really feels like a horror game. And then it kind of it gets away from it. Maybe as you get more abilities and powers, you have a little more control over the world. But like this sequence here in the beginning, like I remember playing it with some people who are like, I don't want to, I don't want to play this anymore. It's too scary. Yeah. Well, and. The opening spirit, uh, opening stretch here is like reminiscent of games like uh, what System Shock Two, yeah. another yeah. irrational 
thing. Whoa! Swing it. Whoa! <laughs> and I mean, at this point, we can talk spoilers, right? Like the whole would yeah, you, I the whole so. would you kindly stuff. Seeing that, ah, get out! Oh God, the first you time didn't that parry couch. at the right time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the old wrench parry. That's a classic move. Again, system shock. Um, hey, Sean Spicer. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. That's where he went, huh? After he got let go, he went to Rapture. Okay. Wouldn't oh, I, you? Yeah. Man. 1946. And, like, I think this is another game. This is one of those games that really demonstrates the power that like good artistic direction can have just mm. from a visual standpoint, right? Like like you look at some early versions, like before Bioshock was Bioshock, wasn't it about like a culty programmer or something like yeah, that? It I had, yeah. There was a time I think where it took place on like a tropical island even. Yeah, like or like a, or like a space station. I don't remember I, I don't remember offhand now. Yeah. But like there was an early version of this game before we unveiled like this version of Bioshock on our cover. The game had been shown in like a different form before and like it's just amazing how the world and the concept comes to life with a sort of like art deco sort of thing wrapped around it yeah all right so you turn into the emperor yeah (laughs) Yeah. and immediately die also this game is infant has infamously terrible subtitles really yeah like like the the way they put so much on screen at once that you're like uh, reading someone's whole dialogue and just like yeah the timing and the way they roll out yeah that one was really like weird. super early yeah <laughs> like <laughs> see look at like that's not an audio sync issue people watching this that's just the way the game is yeah. it's weird that two megabyte patch we downloaded when we started <laughs> <laughs> This is this is also I don't know if you guys have encountered this, but this is also a game that weirdly like even people who don't really play a lot of video games have played Bioshock. Like I went to like a my huh. a, like a birthday party for my uh, with my daughter like a couple months ago, and I was just talking to the parents. So I told them what I did for a living, and they're like, "Yeah, we don't really play a lot of video games." Oh, but Bioshock, I loved Bioshock, and I've run into that a couple times where someone who like doesn't normally play video games, but then Bioshock will be this one standout thing. I, I don't know why that is. I think it's just... I mean, how do you deny that? The, just the concept that's delivered on the cover? It's like, oh, like an underwater city, and you're fighting these big monsters? It just looks cool, you I mean, know? That seems really weird to me. Like, I, I know the game is, like, critically successful and, like, commercially successful, but that seems... I've always sort of seen this as, like, the gamer's good game. I, right? I agree with you, yeah. I don't know. I just I on more than one occasion I've I've encountered that kind of person who doesn't doesn't play a lot of games but loves Bioshock. Oh man, this is another thing that's really worth talking about. Is that like historical context wise, this is coming out in like two thousand seven or so. And uh It's interesting that wait, did I just go through that or not? Uh oh, no you did. Yeah, yeah you, I did. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, that like this was still a time when most storytelling in games was being done through like cutscenes. Like the game stops and you watch a cutscene. Yep. Yeah. Um, so things like that plane crash just happening there, with, like that sort of environmental storytelling. Things just sort of happening as you're as you're going. Yeah, um, or just picking up like a recording. Yeah. And continuing on. Yeah. The idea of the like, story. Yeah. The idea of keeping players immersed in the world uh, was, I mean, not. This game didn't invent that, but I think that Bioshock was really important in the sort of Hey, go get a Vita from the Vita chamber. <laughs> oh, oh, it's empty. Sony's been just in, just in real life. No Vitas to be seen anywhere. <laughs> uh, Remember when Infinite was supposed to come to Vita? That was fun, right? Uh, that was fun. Oh, <laughs> was it, that? It, was, it was a new Bioshock experience. Yeah. Oh, is that what? I thought it, it was just Infinite. No, it wasn't Infinite. It was just Bioshock on Vita. Oh, man. I'm yeah. still holding up for upstairs. Oblivion on PSP. What? Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, I forgot about that. Yeah, zap them, then whack them. Yeah, where is it? Iconic line. So I just have to go through here. I want to. S- Hello. I want to zap them and whack them. No. What? You know the one-two punch. There you go. And you have to switch, right? They they fix that in Bioshock 2, where you can actually have two things equipped at once. Those yeah, party exactly. Pants. But looting very important. Rummaging. 
<laughs> going through trash cans. Yeah, which in retrospect is a really weird thing that they kept for like Bioshock Infinite and stuff. Just like, oh, it's a trash can thing. Here's, yeah, here's a hot dog and a garbage can. Man, I if I'm shooting that. bees out of my fingers, I am eating trash and yeah. you name it. You yeah. thought about All the core tenets of the Bioshock franchise <laughs> and why it's so important. To uh, you know, I actually, in, in Infinite, it almost made more sense to me because it just was this like city of decadence, I feel like. So yeah, I felt like people would be throwing away like Uneaten. It's not so dogs, much about what you know? they about what they'd be throwing away or not. I'm not questioning what the <laughs> refuse of Columbia is too good. <laughs> That's what I said. Like they have all this money, so they buy three hot dogs and just throw two away. Yeah. You know? No, that's not the issue I have with it, Kyle. So much. Thematically, as... it worked, is what I'm saying. Well, th- but what I'm what I'm saying is the idea of. It does not make you feel like a very powerful hero oh, no. when, on one hand, you're shooting a bunch of powers out of your hand and like, you know. Sky hooking someone in the face, and then you're like, I'm pretty tired. I better go search around in the garbage <laughs> cans for lunch. Well, to quote Ben Hansen, quoting some unnamed friend, you know, big dog has got to eat, right? Uh, <laughs> wow, I was not interested in that at all. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle, for bringing us back down to Earth. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so here's a little shrine to <laughs> yeah, Walt Disney. Andrew Ryan. <laughs> Oh, is this where uh, he gets frozen bodies? In terms of characters, the way they're written, some of the best dialogue for characters and even though you don't see them, character development um, at the hand of Ken Levine, mm-hmm. who you may recognize from Milk Cartons because he's been missing for a long time. Hey. Sorry, he was, Mom. He was on our Breath of the Wild podcast. By oh. Amiibos. Uh-uh. Live. He has been gone for years. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that, that guy stand corrected. Remember, it was just us playing a video where he was like, if you're watching this, I'm dead. <laughs> let, me <tell> you about, <laughs> let me tell you about Breath yeah. of the Wild. Yeah. <laughs> That's how the video ends, the hour podcast. I thought, By the way, if you're watching this, I'm dead. <laughs> I thought he was in jail for his murder of Dan Tag. Whoa. Oh, that's oh, right. right. Yeah. That yep. could be. Yeah, yeah that's, that's probably what happened. That explains his outfit in that, in that podcast. Search <laughs> Game Informer jumpsuit. Murder Mystery. If you haven't seen that, it's very good. All right. I, I, I think and we he, just spoiled for you. I think he is writing right. a movie, or he was doing that for a while wasn't or something, wasn't he? Or did I just make that up? Yeah, he was doing uh, Logan's Run. Oh, and then he's doing okay. like some weird Twilight Zone stuff, right? Yeah, and then he murdered Dan Tack. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, as a side project. I just <laughs> <laughs> the murder side project. That's a clutch. Let me just look him up. Kyle, do you want to collaborate with me on a murder side project? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is Dan Tack taken? Uh, well, I was thinking that I would murder you. Oh. Um. I, can we talk about it off, Mike? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, I'll commit now. You put me on the spot. I feel like that's the only way I can get you in there. So, yeah, let's get together. Let's get together, you know, in the new year okay. and really hash out how you're going to die. Guys. Uh, all right. Ken Levine, born September 1st, 1966. Mm-hmm. He's now the creative director and co-founder of Ghost Story Games. Yeah, actually. So who that- is so ghostly that they... Do not release their games publicly. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of an interesting thing to talk about there, too, though. Like, the evolution of Ken Levine's studio, because it was Irrational Games, and then just as Bioshock was releasing, it became 2K Boston for a little while. Yeah. That's right, yeah. And then it went back to Irrational. And then it went back to Irrational in the lead-up to uh, Infinite. Infinite. And then after Infinite, it closed down. Or and rather, it came back. Yeah, I mean, well, it, let go most of the staff, then came back with just twelve people, and was renamed Ghost Story Games. Yeah, yeah, I want to zap you. Oh, zap you, back him. To zap I'm you. Just, I'm just wrench. <laughs> so when now when I play this, have you guys? All right, this is maybe a weird internet cut. I don't know how if you guys know this, but uh, there's a uh, there was that trend for a little while of like of like literal music videos. Right. Oh, I forgot that there's a weird ghosty thing in this game. Oh, yeah. That really didn't make sense. Yeah, are you seeing that because of uh, the of the stuff that you have shoved in your veins? It didn't, but uh. now it does. Ghost story game. Oh, there we go. Anyway, so what I was going to say is that there's there were these literal music videos and one of them where they like it's a they played the music video but then rewrite the lyrics to just talk about and recount exactly what's happening in the music video. You guys remember these at all? No. No. There's one of them for like a beautiful dream. There's one of them for Take on Me. And there's that part at the end of Take on Me where the for some reason everyone's like fighting with pipe wrenches. Why aren't you fighting oh, yeah, your yeah. arrow, man? 
Uh, oh yeah, I suppose I should do that. Uh, <laughs> so every time now that I play Bioshock, I think to a part in that song where it's just like, I'm gonna kick some ass with my own pipe wrench. <laughs> Take Wait, a- I okay. I, I I I I do remember this internet meme thing now. Okay, it took okay. you singing it to me to to click. But yeah, now I know what you're talking. About. So yeah, but <gasps> so the problem is whenever I see a pipe wrench now, I think I'm gonna kick some ass with my own pipe wrench. Do you think that's a child down there? Huh? I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Atlas. I feel like Atlas is on the up and up. How about you guys? Yeah, he seems like a good guy. I think he's gonna. I think he wants to help you. Look at that that's dapper nice. picture. How can such a dapper man be bad? I mean, saying that's not a child, that's a little sister. It's like it could be both. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what came first, Bioshock little sisters or Queens of the Stone Age little sisters? Uh, or little sister. Queens of the Stone Age, I believe. Oh, a lock. Oh, oh, watch. Oh, right, this stuff. This is cool. Why would you mess with the little sisters? That seems stupid. Oh, maybe he doesn't see the big daddy anywhere nearby, and then it's like... And then again, like, you as a character mess with the little sisters. Maybe yeah. this guy thinks he can take the big daddy with his single revolver. Oh, Maybe that's you in another universe. Oh, maybe. Uh-oh. Oh, that's probably mine. That's the, that's the big Bioshock twist, if, is every splicer you fight is a different version of yourself. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, Little Sister was released in December 2004. Hey, and then what, Bioshock was 2006, 7? I know we said it at the beginning of the episode, but I already forgot. Wow! 2006. 2006? Oh, uh, it was 6. I thought it was 7. Are you going to save your game at all? Can you save your game? It just said press start to save your game. Joe's a pro. That's why we call him Joe Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Did we, were we going to say the same thing? Yep. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> nice. Yes, 2007. Uh, ah. Bioshock. There I used go. to read a lot of Joe Pro magazine when I was a kid. <laughs> For all the latest Joe news. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Man, I just right. love the wrench. Uh, turn around, by the way. Okay. So that's a little sister, little a sister uh, hole. hole where yeah. they come out of. They, they live leave. in the, the walls. This People game, under the stairs style. I also really love the old school like advertisements in this game. Yeah, there's some controversy. Inner... Game Informer controversy over that. So, way back when we did our Bioshock Infinite cover, Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to Ken Levine on the phone about art direction and what we wanted to do. And he pitched the idea of these old paintings that ended up being in our cover. Mm -hmm. He's like, let's do a variety of them, and then on the back cover, we'll do fake ads uh, of the time, because we always did gatefold covers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So when we first started getting the concepts in for the covers... One of the ones that Ken sent me was uh, fake cigarette ads. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, this is great because it's so air specific mm-hmm. and dark and disturbing, but can we, we put can't cigarette, put cigarette yeah. on, our, on our covers. So we had to yeah, even if it's fake, go back to the drawing it, right? board on that. Okay. Yeah. Did we? I yeah. thought I believe we did. I thought we actually put the cigarette ad on there. I don't think there's so. There's no way of knowing. We'll never know. Yeah, I guess there, there's. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible to find out. Yeah, I want to say we didn't, uh, but we do have those mock-ups somewhere. Okay, yeah, I have. I just have a very clear memory of the ad in my head, but maybe I saw it along the, you know, along the way. I think it was like red. What? Uh, side note: different Game Informer controversy that we'll probably never mention. Except when I was right working now. on what? the Hold South on. Park cover. Ah, right, get out of there, dude! All right. When I was doing the South Park cover, working with. Matt and Trey and South Park Studios on art design for that one. Uh, we had, they sent me a concept of Cartman by himself on the cover. And the back cover was all clothing that you could put on, cut, up, cut out and put onto him. Oh. <laughs> Cartman was completely naked on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> we had to say no to naked Cartman. Oh, that's a great idea, though. That's a shame. Ooh, a cool cover, though. I could not believe what I when I opened up my email what I was looking at. <laughs> that was the most trying cover of my career, by the way. The South Park one? Oh my god. I I love it though. That's a great cover. Yeah, we debuted that game. That was yeah. a, a world reveal. How long was there between when we revealed the game and when it actually came out? A long time. I don't know that it ever <laughs> and you know, the first time I saw it, I had that fifteen minute video. 
that I showed. Man, I must have showed you guys. I, yeah, that was actually uh, I was I had four just, months before we did that cover. I had just started Game Informer, and that was one of my very first like, oh, I'm seeing some secret stuff here moments. <laughs> um, but yeah, that cover was on and off, on and off. Trey and Matt didn't want to do it. Yeah. Then they did. Then they didn't. Then they did. Oh man, it was a nightmare. <laughs> Oh, I thought this happened a lot earlier for some reason. Talking to uh, uh, Ryan. Yes, such a good moment. Yeah, see, those are just bad subtitles. <laughs> yeah. Weird thing to mess up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if I was making a game, the one thing I could get right is the subtitles. Or you could always go the original Assassin's Creed route, which is to just, just not, not have do them. them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a safe bet. I will fight you guys. Eventually, we will fight. I love this. Ah, oh, man, the intensity. Yeah, especially when you're swatting at the window too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> really helps. bring it, bring it on. <laughs> uh, okay. You call that window smashing? <laughs> Oh, it fades to black. Okay, that's funny. Yeah, I wanted to look at this after we did um, Singularity, which just mm. reminded oh, yeah, me yeah. of this so much. That game's good, too. That yeah. one holds up really well as well. Yeah. Still that's, frosty. I never played that one, That, but that was one that I remember at the time people saying it was, like, really underrated. Yeah. Oh, absolutely Nolan North's finest work. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Egg technology. <laughs> that game's great. Now you've met Andrew nice. Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Now find your way to emergency access. Do you remember uh, watching a lot of like of the um, like the collector's edition of the game came with like a DVD with a lot of behind the scenes stuff for Bioshock? And one thing that they the developers kept talking about in the interviews is their insistence that like players will want to retry every encounter in the game so they can try it in different ways. What game was this? Sorry. For Bioshock. Oh, okay. And I just it was funny because like I, that is not how I played the game at all. Like it, it, they, I got a sense that they thought people would like finish an encounter and be like oh that was awesome. Now I want to try it with bees. Yeah. And they would like reset and do it again right then and there. And I just always thought that was like a no, really No one played str- it. Yeah, no. I thought that was like a strange thing that they thought people were going to do. I mean, but maybe in those interviews they felt like they couldn't talk about the story and stuff, so maybe they were just focusing on that element of the game. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we should call out here that the voice of the Circus of Values clown is Ken Levine himself. That's right. That's how he looks, too. If you don't know what he looks like, that's actually a photo of him. <laughs> talking that is over the voice. voice. Shut up for a second oh, here. sorry. All right, there we go. Now, now, good. now you can say whatever dumb thing you were going to say. Kai. Biggest contribution to video games. <laughs> <laughs> this was a, a, one of the rare games that I played again the second it ended. Yeah. Really? Just to get the other ending. Did you save the little sisters or did you kill I, them? I saved them first. And then you killed them. And then I did a run where I killed them. But that was back when I was a kid and I thought I would oh never God. die and could play every game ten times. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've I've never had the heart to go through a game where I kill all the sisters. I just can't oh, do that. yeah. Is that where I'm supposed to? The go? end of the ending of this game's a bit of a wreck, and was a controversial point for Ken Levine and company. Yeah, because yeah. they didn't really want to have a big boss battle, right? Oh, I forgot about these puzzles. Yeah, puzzles. I love these. Really, well, Leo? One of my favorite hacking mini games ever. Be honestly. quiet. I'm sorry. I this sucks. Everything sucks. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now you're figuring Get it out. Get on board with Joe's general <laughs> point of What's view. What's even cooler than this hacking minigame is hating everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you can't speed up. Oh, there you go. I was going to say. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was fine as far as hacking games go. Yeah, but, like, uh, see, this is this is an old thing that grinds my gears. Uh, like, there is not a single good hacking minigame. Hey, no, I mean like they, they all qualify. They're all qualified by what, like Kyle just said, for a hacking mini game. This is okay You'd- for a hacking mini game. There's no time in, in any game ever where you're like, oh, good, I'm playing a hacking mini game. You oh. never want to do it. I like it in Deus Ex. Maybe Sly Cooper too. In the nope. new Deus Ex, when you're like building a character who's really good at hacking, I think it's fun. 
to to focus on that and have it help you out in all these crazy oh. different ways. Does Shatter Run on Super Nintendo does that count? Mm, good question. Cyber hacking. What about really hacking a video game so you can like shoot cars out of your? That's downside? awesome. <laughs> Joe is so oh, wait, wrong. That's mine. Oh well, sorry, buddy. Oops. <laughs> that's your opinion of hacking People. right there too. Yeah. People. Lockpicking mini games. Probably never been a good one though. No. no. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Five is the best lockpicking mini game. With the one where you wait. Yeah, you just wait there. I actually do. I'm half joking. It's not really a mini game because you don't do anything, but. I like what it does, like, because it, it, it adds a level of intensity to, like, breaking into doors without actually making you, like, you know, wiggle your thumbsticks. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, Joe. Oh, I'm going to like this. Oh, oh okay. pro Joe. Why is it called the Tommy Gun? Uh, because it's a, uh, what, Thompson rifle? I think? Oh. I thought maybe it was used by a guy named Tommy. Or Tommy Pickles. <laughs> Actually. From Rugrats. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My name's Tommy. <laughs> this is my gun. Man, it sounds like Harley Quinn. This is my friend of the same name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Say hello to my friend who is the size of a regular gun. We'll fi I'll figure out who you're talking to by context clues when you say Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Bioshock in Arkham, isn't there? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Definitely. Just observing this now for the 15th time. <laughs> yep, that's another life. reason why that Batman game is super overrated. Oh, my oh goodness, my God. God. <laughs> Do you Your like mouth things? needs to stay closed. Sorry, I'm just being a garbage person right now. I don't necessarily that is, it, is it just because Batman has a hacking minigame? Is that your issue with it? No. I walked by Joe's desk the other day. He was reading negative comments about him, and his hand was in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. <laughs> that, was, that was weird. We usually don't bring that up, but it's odd. I thought it was worth mentioning. Hey, guys, as long as it's at the desk, it's okay. I was gonna tell, like, in case this ever comes up for you guys, like, if you don't, if you're bleeding like really bad, you don't need to write anything anywhere with that blood. <laughs> I mean, but what if like, you have that kind of like handwriting where it's just impeccable? It's you know, great. I, I think what I'd say, my recommendation would be first get the wound patched up, and then just like you know, use ink. Yeah. Just normal ink. I stubbed my toe really bad the other day, and I I, I wrote a period on the ground, like a, at the end of a sentence. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So that was with the, the blood coming out of my toe, so that was fun. One time you guys ever, a, ever write anything in blood? I, one time at a pool, I uh, cut the back of my heel on, like, some play set or whatever. It was, like, the kids' area of the pool. Nice. Uh -huh. and, and then you pooped in the pool. The <laughs> end. <laughs> the, the end. <laughs> a happy ending. And then I, I walked out of the pool, and there was just, like drops of blood, oh, like big pools oh. that looked like, you know, a bunch of dot, dot, dot. So I kind of oh. wrote something that. Oh. Mm. It's like cloud dialogue from uh, Final <laughs> Fantasy VII. <laughs> well, let me reference my favorite game, <laughs> The Silent perfect. Protagonist. Yeah, there we go. Hey, the one-two punch. The old what? Zap and slap? What did they call it? Zap them and whack them. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like that. And never mind. What did that say? Eternal Flame. Nice. It's like a Vegas display. When I was in elementary school, we had a lesson about, like, uh, sign language. And everyone in the class learned a song in sign language and had to, mm. like, perform it for the rest of the grade. Um, like, a as a group. And my oh, okay. group, my group was assigned the song Eternal Flame. Huh. So there was a time in my life when I was able to sign that, like, is this pretty any that one. Can you approximate it on camera? Uh, do you remember any part of it? I do. There was, I think it was Eternal Flame. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love it. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, that's that's really all I remember. Oh, I should follow the arrow again. Here we go. Uh, oh, are we coming up to that jump scare? I don't remember. Well, you oh, just ruined you? it oh. now. I think that's a little <laughs> further away. Like where you turn around and the dude's there. Come on, yeah, guys. We're trying to re-experience this. Okay, so uh, I guess it's sending me this way. I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Now that I know there's a jump scare coming, I'm just going to plug my ears yeah. until it's over. <laughs> You're so smart, Leo. You're the <laughs> smartest. Hey, what do you think Circus Values would be like today if it was made by EA? Oh. I'm, you're just... 
You're just begging for if it was made by EA and by it sold the Battlefront loot, team. And yeah, Who, exactly. What would it be like? <laughs> you could, well, you would get like different colored wrenches. You could get like a camo. <laughs> uh, definitely. Well, yeah. no, they would be like, this one's more powerful. Oh, I should have hacked it. Oh well. Yeah, hack it up. We know how you feel about hacking mini games. Let's do it. Sometimes oh, it's this one looks way too hard. I forget how does. Okay. Oh, oh! I blew it already. Oh, oh my goodness! Good God, lord! Get out of there! Get out of there! Okay. And uh, all right, there we go. Let's get some things. Nope. Get that one. Get it. There we go. And what then. What are you doing? I'm trying to get. <laughs> he has a plan, I assume. I mean, kind of. Okay, so then that what goes there. What is happening? Then. He's got it. Do the little. That uh, goes there. Nope. What? It His doesn't. Brain's not I've lost faith. Out. Out. <laughs> okay. Hey. I'm not asking you to have faith in me because I will screw this up. Put the uh, vertical. Uh, shut up, shut two. up, shut up. Okay. I feel like I'm going to come in tomorrow morning and Joe's going to still be here. The TV <laughs> will be off. And he'll be thinking he's doing a pipe puzzle. <laughs> oh, I'm so close. Uh, wait. No, what are you, I screwed that uh, up. Two, uh, oh, God, I blew it. No, no, oh, I blew it. On the bottom. Happening with right, the it. bottom left. But, wait, what do I, I want that one? Yeah. There you go. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. Go. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Hack successful. Master hacker. A pulse pounding experience, enhancing the total overall product. Uh huh. I'm so glad it's there. There we go. His hands in his pants again. <laughs> That's why he didn't like me being nice. It's just any negativity. Get some going. Who's shooting me? Where, where are you? Oh, Man, this game is. really is the whole package wrench, art design, wrench, gameplay design. Wrench, wrench. Wrenches, wrench, <laughs> Sean Spicer. This is like number one wrench game, probably. Whale uh, sounds. When I first started playing and I picked up a wrench and it was my melee weapon, I was like, man, this is just Half-Life. It's just like I have a crowbar, oh, they got a wrench, they couldn't make any bigger changes. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, it's a lot different. <laughs> Name mind. a better wrench game. Name a you can't do it. wrench game. I'm curious what would have been a cooler melee item yeah. that you wouldn't have thought of Half-Life with. Uh, I don't know. Oh, question. you're dead, Doctor. A mallet oh. is pretty awesome. Oh, just yeah. a just meat tenderizer. Tool, I think, oh, yeah. Yeah. Baseball bat. Baseball bat. Although, the sound of a mallet won't be as satisfying as the metal, right? It's like a, a really <laughs> stale like a bag of Ritz crackers that hasn't been opened. <laughs> oh. Just has, a sleeve of Ritz crackers. Yeah, has anyone done... <laughs> that would not remind me of Half-Life. That's true. There we go. Has anyone done a sock with quarters in it? Oh, Ooh. I don't know. I feel like they could reskin the Watch Dogs 2 one, where he's just slapping it around. Is that... Is that... <laughs> it's just like a ball on a string, and I feel like the oh, physics would be that different. Yeah. Okay, where's... I need telekinesis... Game developers, if you're listening, sock and quarters. Actually, that would be really satisfying. That's free. You can have that. You get a nice like coin yeah. jingling sound effect. Oh, you, oh. man! Yeah. Okay. It's money. So I'm actual literally. money. And the more money you have in your wallet in your inventory, oh. the more damage your melee does. That'd be amazing. They should what patch if, it in. What if that yeah. weapon was made by EA? <laughs> well, you could put different. It would just be an I empty sock <laughs> until you put money. <laughs> <laughs> Then it, you would put it would come with paper bills and you'd be like, no, I gotta exchange this for coins. Okay, I guess I need to go back and find telekinesis somewhere. That's a good joke somebody can use, like just trying to hit someone with a with a with a sock full of crumpled up dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> it does nothing. A lot of good royalty free ideas. In this that. Yeah. Where'd your arrow go? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. This game's too hard. Oh, hi. New new enemies. That's probably right. Wrenching around. <laughs> That was the subtitle for this game, uh, early in development. Oh, Bioshock man. colon wrenching around. Yeah. <laughs> I just had a memory of an elaborate uh, apartment complex Whoa! from this game. Do you guys remember that area? Yeah, yeah, that's later on in the game. Yeah, man, that was great. Yeah, that's later on in the game. It is not. We're not in an apartment <laughs> complex right now. <laughs> yeah, that was a good adjustment. Yeah, I'm real. I'm real smart Hello? and helpful. No! Oh. Can what? You just Sorry. talk to some of these people? Joe? I love the health meter too. I got special ammo. Okay. All right. Does it automatically use your health item when it goes all the way down? No. That... No, it's set on uh, set on the B button. Mm. Hmm. Uh, oh, there was a thing in there. I missed it. Oh well. Goodbye thing. So yeah, I'm trying to remember what 
where I'm supposed to be going for this. The map. Mm. Telekinesis? There's no enemies here. Which hey, is a bad sign. Yeah. Leo? Yes. Anytime we see a little sister, can you pump in like five seconds of a little sister? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Are, are you lying? I know. I, I absolutely can do that. <laughs> will will you do will that? He? Oh, yeah, I'll never tell. <laughs> There's no way of us to know. Well, I'm not watching the episode, so I'm going to assume you did it. Please. Uh, oh, he got too many else. diaries. There he is. There he is. No, I remember what the telekinesis section of the game like is, but I don't remember where it is. Thank God you can walk around and keep listening to these. I, I hate when games like leave you an audio diary and it just stays there, mm -hmm. and you as you walk away, yet? it like the volume gets lower. No, no fire yet. There's so there's like a hallway that has a turret that's shooting uh baseballs or something right? yeah it's like shooting rockets at you oh that's what it is that yeah. you need to that you need to find it but i just don't remember where it is and for some reason it's not showing it to me where are you what? at on your map uh, that's admitting defeat <laughs> looking at the map yeah do you have a map yeah there it is i don't remember it oh okay so maybe in that little section that's yeah. all dark? That's what I'm thinking. Tar that take two right? Oops, I accidentally. That's the smart money. Oh wait, was there a puzzle? Oh, mm. we're going downstairs. Hold on, hold on. No, we're not. Oh, no, we're not. Never mind. I let it. I feel like I should be able to get the... Mm. Mm -hmm. Hold mm. on. Map. Map. So circle around. What is show hint? What is that? I don't remember pressing that button. When you look but, at the map, uh, I always do hit the wrong one. Show hint. What show? Why? Okay, blocked with ice. Find the ins. Okay, so we gotta find the. Uh, where we go? Okay, so we find eternal the flame. Okay, I as the name implies. I remember being in there. I thought that we. Had, yeah. I thought that we got. I what guess there there's was a. To get. There must be a plasma that we missed or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's figure this out. There it is. No. Uh, nope. <laughs> oh, gross. Don't be mean. Oh, you mean just the door that's normal right there that I could have gone through? Oh, okay. boy. It's a puzzle. Ah. It's a puzzle. Ah. Live playthrough. Uh, well, there's your turret. <laughs> Not a very good security camera. Did I see something? Huh? No. Jump! There, there we, go. we go. Good job. The wrenching. Oh, oh. Mm. that person's waking up any minute now. Oh, I said right. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Player choice. <laughs> I can't wait to do another playthrough where I don't use the furnace. Uh, ooh. Oh, you have to. That's how you get the plasma. Hackers. Do yeah. Oh, never mind. I was just sitting in that lady's stomach. <laughs> That's a, oh, I'm sorry, sir. It. She died of hacker's delight. <laughs> Skyrockets in flight. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Hacker's delight. Oh, this is a room I believe they showed at E3. There's a lot of oil on the floor. Yeah. Okay. You so could start this on fire. Yeah. Maybe I should not have just done that right away because I I don't remember where the actual like plasmid is. Hey guys, important question. Uh oh. How many rounds of Bioshock 2 multiplayer did you play? <laughs> a lot, because we had to review it. Oh, you guys both reviewed that one? I think. Maybe just you did that yeah, one? Yeah, maybe I just did that one. I played two. Did you get to be Big Daddy? No, that was, that was good. That was funny. I like Bioshock 2, just the multiplayer. Did oh, nothing for me. we were here. Uh, I, I feel like I played a bunch of it, but I didn't like it. So maybe I was on the review. Because like, I don't know why I would have kept playing <laughs> otherwise. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We should write an opinion piece on the site that the multiplayer in Bioshock 2 wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not something that a lot of people have ever talked about. Yeah. It was cool in concept. Yeah. I did a feature a couple years ago where I went and played multiplayer, like, all those, like, there was that time period where all those games, like, Bioshock 2 and Dead Space 2, like, felt like they had to add oh, multiplayer right. mode. I forgot Dead Space 2. Yeah. That's and I went and played a bunch of them like years removed from the original release and they were just like all dead zones except for the original Prey 
I was able to get into a game in the original Prey. Oh, and, what, and wasn't there just like right. one dude who was playing? Yeah, just one dude, super into Prey, running around. <laughs> Give me a run for my money. All right, do you guys feel like we're past that point in the industry where multiplayer is getting shoehorned into games? I think so. I don't remember the last time there was Yeah, one. now it's loot crates, right? Yeah, I mean... The it, next chapter. It, it, it's, it's, weird to, it's weird to talk about because I think it's... I think separate multiplayer modes that feel like they don't belong there is maybe gone, but I feel like developers are still like integrating different like social elements and asynchronous multiplayer. Like I think that there's still an obligation to like yeah, or not an obligation. Yeah, right? I, yeah, I feel I feel like developers whoa, 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 still feel like there. they need to add. It. It's just not deathmatch every time anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I guess exactly. Uncharted still does it. Yeah, there's still a like fan base right? though. There's a lot of people that really do like. There's Uncharted. one guy who moved on from Prey. <laughs> Uncharted. <laughs> First, he he took a pit stop at uh, Batman Arkham. Uh, was the Arkham Origins? Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god! What there was, a, there was Did multiplayer in Batman. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I don't think I never played it. I think it, it was, was like Crazy Town. Yeah, I think that was when I think you reviewed Runners. So you probably did play a bunch yeah. of that one. Um, it was like you played first person for some reason. <laughs> it was just like. <laughs> I think you could sometimes call in Batman. Yeah. Like he would show up yeah, and you, you got like enough, your like a good whatever. kill streak or something. I don't know. It's very weird. <laughs> you know, Batman. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe I don't hate loot crates so much. <laughs> <laughs> EA, they know what they're doing. Uh, I'm getting all the shotgun ammo. I wonder if I missed my shotgun somewhere. Oh, maybe. I don't remember. It's been too long. Uh, do I need that? I probably need this. Oh, wait. Do it looked like that, yeah, you just clipped through the door for a second. Oh, is that what happened? Oh, yeah, okay. that was really strange. Oh. You guys ever played Gotham City Imposters? Yeah. yeah. That was an arcade game, right? I, I think that might have been the Arkham Origins team or something did that. I could be wrong about that. No, I think it's the ones that did the multiplayer, right? I'm, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, the guys, the, the studio that made the multiplayer for Arkham Origins, I believe they did Gotham City Imposters Leo, look as it well, up. but I could be wrong about that. Okay. That game was kind of cool, right? Ah! I thought it was very underrated. Yeah, a lot of cool movement abilities, right? Like, it, you could, like, run yeah. up walls and do all kinds of crazy jumps and Roller stuff. Rollerblades, trampolines yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Lots yeah. of different I guys. I played a little bit of that. Yeah. Oh, this is a moment. Oh, this is tight. This counts. Mm. Where'd he go? Leo. Don't right. worry about it, guys. Everything's fine. Right. Ooh, security expert. I didn't come here for security expert. Now you can hack with ease. Yeah, good. Uh, the developer of Gotham City Imposters is listed as Monolith Productions. Really? And then who did the multiplayer in Origins? Because I'm pretty sure it was a separate studio, right, working simultaneously. Naughty dog. What? <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard? <laughs> okay, I forget what I was here for. Uh, Nintendo! <laughs> <laughs> your your turn, Joe. Say one. Say a funny one. Say, uh, He's, he hasn't been say the Oh, I'm sorry. Bungie. I'm, I'm, Bungie would be a funny one to say. Uh, yeah. That'd be super funny. Okay. Bungie! <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Joe. <laughs> Good one, me. <laughs> oh, incinerate. <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, come hey. on. Eat it, buddy. Eat some wrench. I'm going to kick some ass with my own pipe wrench. There we go. I wish my left hand had abilities. I wish my was right it, hand had a wrench. Was it splash damage? That sounds yeah. right. Yeah. Because they did uh, brink. brink. Yeah, Brink. And uh, Dirty Bomb, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> we all brink. know that game. Brink's back, baby. Play that's yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Free with no microtransactions. Joe! He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> His name is literally Corpse. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but that could be it. Maybe his name is just Corpse. Mm. That'd be an interesting name. That'd be a good show. fake out. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, she oh, ran for the she, water. That's pretty well, smart. She yeah. almost made it. Too bad. Yeah, uh, that's how they get you. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, uh, wait, is that the... Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. Well, I love is... Assassin's Creed Origins. It is weird that people just keep fighting you while they're on fire until they die. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is strange. I mean, that's how you do it. That's how you would do it if you were in that same situation. Get out of there, man. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> they hadn't invented stop, drop, and roll yet. <laughs> they had no idea what to do. Okay, Just so, do your best! So we know it's in here somewhere. Telekinesis. Ooh. Like, I don't know. Here. I'm going to just blow this thing up. There we go. Perfect. I won! I think I did it wrong, though. How long have we been playing, Leo? About 45 minutes. Wow. A little over. Joe's almost done. <laughs> He's almost yeah. at the end. I almost beat Bioshock. He just needs bees, and then it's over. Where is... Did you guys uh, end up using any kind of weirder abilities? I think I kind of just stuck with electricity for most of the game. Mm. Maybe fire, periodically. But I never really mess with bees or telekinesis. Those are all like second playthrough things for me. Yeah. I think Joe and I really mixed it up uh, on our first playthrough. Like, really checked out a lot of it. Yeah. The one thing that I don't, the, that I really don't like in this game is that, is that, is it this one or is it Bioshock 2? The wind trap. The thing where it's like you yeah. set something down on the ground and then it kind it's of. It's like a little tornado on the ground. Right? Yeah. yeah I, I, remember that, that. I thought that was real dumb. But physics. <laughs> okay, so we are clearly are we're in dental. This is dental now, right? Yeah, I mean, we can always check the yeah, there's uh, a sign right there. The hint on the map again. See what it says. Wait, go back. Turn around. Turn around. Straight ahead. Turn to your right. right. Are you giving oh. us a dance no. direction? Straight ahead. There's dental. Slide to the left. <laughs> that says Take dental. It back now, y'all. Okay, so that's where <laughs> we want to get to. We just jump in there. Well, oh, there's another door over there, Joe. Hold on, hold on. But this is choice. Ooh, their <laughs> agency. This wow. is choice. All right, were you ready for some excitement, baby? Yes. I bought out for $10. Oh, thank <laughs> All right. Thank God. <laughs> now your sock of quarters won't be as effective. Uh, I love that idea of video like a video game where the the more money, like the more currency you spend in game, the weaker your attack. Is. <laughs> I really <laughs> genuinely love that. I think that'd be cool. Uh, that's yeah. a bad idea. No, you could choose to have a really powerful melee attack, or you could buy that the cool pair of pants that you want. Joe, you got kind of a hacker no, wait, build. Turn around. Shut up. Cool. Turn around. <laughs> turn around. Get close in on that that bear. I'm frozen. I want to see you telekinesis that bear. Oh. Around. Oh. <laughs> the telekinesis was really impressive to me. Whoa! Come on now. <laughs> gotcha, guys. Gotcha. You guys gotta uh -huh. give me a heads up. You all right, Leo? Jeez, I broke so much stuff in here. <laughs> <laughs> you looked like a fish flopping around for a second on that desk. <laughs> it was scary. Impressive that you kept the mic in front of your mouth and the uh, headphones well, on. Well, I'm first and foremost a professional. <laughs> Okay, dental, second wild card. Painless <laughs> dental. Whoops. Have you melted that ice yet? Yeah, we melted some ice. Okay. Ring the doorbell. <laughs> you need the chomper's dental office key. Can you telekinesis it through that window? I don't have telekinesis. That's a whole problem here. Oh, what Kyle? about your shotgun? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I really stuck yeah. it. Oh, man. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could transport people into this video game. And then I could murder them. And your hacked turret would get them. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, there, there we go. Batman. Oh, Into yeah. the mess. That's Batman. Hey. Whoa. 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 What's Sorry. What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> really caught her off guard. Yeah. Looks like a Sharon Stone photo shoot for a second. Uh, <laughs> what? The classic basic instinct <laughs> reference that everyone loved. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be an episode of replay without it. Supposedly, uh, Wayne Newton got his role in Jurassic Park because of his participation in that scene. What did he do? He sweated a lot and looked uncomfortable. Oh. <laughs> Is that... Wait. I said... Uh, I, did I say Wayne Newton? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Wayne Knight, right? <laughs> That's Wayne Newman. Gretzky. Wayne Knight, right? Uh, who, who cares? I care. Wayne Newton's a... A lounge singer. He was not in Jurassic Park. Okay. I oh, think okay. Wayne Knight is correct. Kyle. You're in okay. that. You're you're there at that scene, filming that scene, and uh. they say you have to improv one line of dialogue. What do you say? Okay, am I Wayne Knight or Wayne Newton? Huh. If you you because choose, you let things. us know. All right, I'm gonna be Wayne Newton. Well, okay. you just do the voice, and we'll be able to tell which one you are. Okay. Okay, Sharon Stone's doing her thing, and uh, real quick, 
what is a famous Wayne Newton song? <laughs> I never heard of him talking about it. You guys okay. are a mess. <laughs> Action. This is improv. Wayne Newton, Jingle Bell Rock. Okay. Uh, Christmas sitting out. Journey. Action. Hold on to your butts. Oh, I know that's Sam Jackson, Jurassic Park. Oh, God. Uh. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm playing Bioshock right now. And okay, I can Leo, your not turn. Not pay attention to your garbage. Three, two, one. Action. Oh, look, I made that guy sit up. Perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I made that guy sit up. Let's Zapped him with the lightning. Sister. Lightning. Wham, wham, wham. That's, this fits <laughs> pretty well. That's uh, all I got. <laughs> are you Good waking? A, are you looking at Wayne? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Donka Shane is his famous song. Oh, how does that one go, Kyle? I believe it goes Donka Shane. Not much of a singer. <laughs> I'm kind of. I don't know any of the lyrics. Rapping. Donka Shane. Yeah, so that's what not, I would have said in that scene. Have you not turn, seen so. Ferris Bueller's Day Off? I've, he's not in that. Oh, they sing Donka Shane in that? Is that a part of that movie? Never mind. It's been a long time. Wayne Knight plays Ferris. <laughs> Donka Shane is it's, German well, for chocolate bar. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, let's not research that. Thank you very much. Your regular uh, Google Translate. I took, I took German class in high school. Or thank you, beautiful, or something. Thank you a lot. What? Okay. That's here. what Dink Donka Shane. Yeah, I mean, oh, that means Joe's, Joe's doing the force. This oh, is such rocks. a great setup. Oh, for this power. boom. Is that? <laughs> All right, I got it, guys. What a great setup it was. Mission accomplished. <laughs> We're killing it. I think every player I walked g up g and shot the tennis ball machine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> At least tried to hack it. Hey, good. We have an arrow back. Thanks, arrow. <laughs> For being here. There it is. Hey, oh, shotgun. finally. Okay. I'm Look at that view. Uh -oh. oh, this is an iconic moment. Oh, yeah. This is cool. What's happening? Electric bolt. This is one mm. of the tougher first fights, right? Not for me, because A, I'm either very good, or B, I have it on easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> it is one of those answers. Ah. It's funny that they're. I'm so uh, good that I'm missing with a shotgun at close range. <laughs> I like that their bait was a shotgun with a lot of ammo. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't wait till we get him into our trap. He'll be defenseless. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What is what would hey, Jack? What would bring her. him into the middle of this room? Looks like Sharon Stone. How about oh. now? Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what was the last movie she was in? <sighs> Catwoman? Oh, with like with Halle Berry Catwoman? Yeah. I don't know. We're talking about Sharon Stone? Yeah. What is, what's the Sharon... What's your deal, guy? Oh! oh! He's got bombs, and he's not afraid to use them. Okay. Except he was a little afraid to use them. Sorry, pal. She's on a TV series called Mosaic. Oh, okay. And she was also in The Disaster Artist. Oh! Which huh. I just saw Wait, three days ago. Who was she in The Disaster Artist? Tommy Wiseau! <laughs> <laughs> Iris Burton. Okay. Huh. I saw that movie and I do not remember her. Is it good? It. Uh, I thought so. I, I liked really it liked too. Oh, um, I got oh. wasted, everyone. Uh, eat those chips quick. Yeah, so, like, for one, I guess it's weird. I can't put myself in a world in which I have not seen the room like 10 times. So I don't know how it would hold up if that, if you weren't sort of like, uh, if only that. there was someone we could ask. Leo hasn't seen the room. Ah. But I feel like it would be a good movie, even if you aren't super in, like super into the cult around that. Uh, it's like it was surprisingly, I don't know, heartfelt to me. It wasn't just, it wasn't just a hit piece. Yeah, even if the room wasn't a real thing, I feel like it's an interesting movie. Yeah, and yeah, I'd never seen it. Liked it a lot. Oh, right. we got him. Joey, so you saw Star Wars twice and The Disaster Artist in the last couple days. Uh, twice I, already, huh? I saw Star Wars twice. I saw... I mean, I saw The Disaster Artist like two weeks ago. Oh, okay. I thought it just came out. Okay. Star Wars is my movie of the year. It's going to surprise you, I know. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. What is uh, Star Wars? 
<laughs> Star Wars? Star Wars? Is that one It's word? a historical piece on Ronald Reagan's uh, space age technologies that were going to protect the United States. Oh, wait. I remember what I'm supposed to Were there not copyright issues with all that? There probably were. George probably went after well, the government. I mean, yeah, something tells me you can't tell the government, like, do not, please do not use my movie name for this law thing. <laughs> This Ugh. law thing. <laughs> hey, Sharon Stone. <laughs> uh, I saw a shape of water last night. Oh, How was that? I want to see that. It was weird, but also very normal. <laughs> uh huh. That's, so that's, that's all I'll say. I believe you. I liked it though. It reminds me a lot of this game. Do you guys hmm. want to hear my thoughts on uh, Ferdinand? I don't. Okay. And with that thought. Thank you for watching, everyone. <laughs> this is Game Informer's replay. <laughs> That's real, real nervous laughter from Kyle right there. I, just, I have a lot of thoughts about. Did you Ferdinand. like it? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. Don't uh, see it instead of Star Wars. <laughs> But that's replay. Joe, nice job playing. Yeah. We made some progress this game. Still amazing. Out now on Xbox One and <laughs> PS4. If you haven't played it and you have the new systems, uh, totally worth your time to go through this and Infinite, right? Yeah. I mean, and even Bioshock 2, I think, is worth worth playing. It's worth seeing. Absolutely. Let's not get crazy here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks again, everyone. See you in seven days. <laughs>